Hello YouTubers, this is Vlog Part 9, Divine Protection of the Supernatural Oddities. If you are a true follower of Jesus Christ, then most likely you are familiar with Pentecost in the book of Acts. Jesus has stated to his disciples that he would send the Great Comforter to watch over and guide them. Well, just to let you know, I've had a few experiences in which I believe that the Great Comforter came into my life at specific times to either heal me of a situation, to physically protect me, to comfort me, or as a harbinger to warn me of snares set by the evil ones. And believe me, this experience is so profound, powerful, and peaceful that I wouldn't even blink if somebody held a gun to my head. Before I get into the juicy parts, which will tickle some of your ears, I'm going to read to you a chapter out of God's Answers for Your Life. Then a quick clip from Zeph Daniel. This clip is a very special public service announcement and warning to all of my gang stalkers and haters. It wasn't so long ago that I had a dream in which the gloves were taken off. Indeed, the gloves have come off. And if you are one of my gang stalkers or haters, you are in for a lot of supernatural trouble in the near future. However, if you heed this message and repent today, I'm quite sure that the Lord will show you His mercy. God's Answers for Your Life Maturing in Christ How to Have God's Divine Protection He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His trust shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thee... Thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the Dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he sets his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him, and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. That was from Psalm 91, verses 1 through 16. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. Psalm 27, verse 1 and 5. Okay, the next one here. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee when thou walkest through the fire. Thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2. Okay. But let all those that put their trust in, the, in thee rejoice, and let them ever shout for joy, because those defendants them, let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous, with favor wilt thou compass him as a shield. Psalm 5 verses 11 and 12 and of Benjamin he said the beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him and the Lord shall cover him all day long and he shall dwell between his shoulders the eternal God is thy refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms and he shall trust thrust out the enemy from before thee and shall say destroy them that was from Deuteronomy Chapter 33, uh, 12 and 27. 
be careful for nothing, but I have not be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving let your request be known to unto God. And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter four verses six seven. The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him, that and delivereth them. That was from Psalm thirty four verse seven. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. Proverbs twenty one verse thirty one. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. That was from Matthew chapter 10, verses 29 to 31. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Proverbs 29, verse 25. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. That was from Isaiah 59, verse 19. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Psalm 4, verse 8. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Psalm 105, verses 14 through 15. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 33. And uh, that's the thing on uh, God's Answers for Your Life. Uh, this was a book that was given to me by uh, Brother Thomas, and I read it daily, or almost daily. It's been a wonderful gift and addition to my life. And the first fruits being the lambs, who are really lions in terms of sovereignty, meaning they can go anywhere on the earth they like, bar nowhere, and have this, uh, uh, and those, the demonic spirits back off in fear because you have the power to extinguish them on sight. Lambs become lions. Bullies become cowards. So to get back in their bullyhood, they do bad things. It wasn't so long ago, maybe a month or so, that uh, on a Saturday night decided to go out and to celebrate a birthday party. Then as the night uh, progressed, everybody decided to go home and a few of us decided to hop over to another place. Well, anyways, whenever I go out, I like to... Uh, listen to some music and uh, especially music that I prefer so I decided to pop on over to the jukebox and start throwing in some uh, tunes well I was there for a while and all of a sudden out from my uh, the corner of my eye on my right side I know somebody was approaching me and I turned and looked him straight in the eye and he was just uh, a pretty pretty drunk dude and all of a sudden when I looked him straight in the eye he become really startled and all of a sudden it seemed like he uh, kind of switched modes and uh, uh, turned friendly and uh, we shook hands and he took off. So yeah, I just kind of had a suspicion that, you know, there was an attack coming but uh, something or somehow it was uh, stopped. But uh, that's pretty much uh, my uh, little uh, supernatural experience there and uh, some divine protection. Just a day or two ago, I was sitting at my uh, kitchen table and uh, reading that uh, book, uh, God's Answers for Your Life.
and all of a sudden I started hearing this weird sound in in the kitchen and uh, I was trying to figure out where where it was coming from and it was very very unusual and um, couldn't really and I was checking to see if it was something from coming from outside but I couldn't determine the location and then uh, next thing I know my uh, phone started ringing and a number was coming up that was uh, pretty much a uh, uh, unknown number that I didn't recognize or unzip her uh, area code so I decided well not to even bother with it you know being typically probably just somebody doing a uh, you know your t typical uh, telemarketers or whatever but anyways I just thought that was an interesting uh, coincidence which I noticed and uh, made mark of and uh, yeah I, I just think that that had to be uh, uh, some kind of precursor there that that sound but anyways that's that was uh, another uh, little occurrence here to let you know about back in the fall of uh, 2006 while I was uh, working out at the gym I was approached by and uh, quite interestingly uh, threatened by uh, some kind of uh, Goon, and I'm sure that's uh, attached to these here uh, gang stalkers and whatever. But uh, about a week or so later, when I was uh, down in the gym again, I was down there by myself, and all of a sudden I felt this uh, wave of uh, peace going through me. It just uh, was just unbelievable, peaceful, and comforting. And then I, at that moment, I got this impression about giving up and go, leaving this all this here uh, conspiracy theory stuff behind and uh, and I was just at that point just healed of uh, my obsession with uh, conspiracy theories and and you know what it's uh, I've never even bothered going back or investigating any of that type of uh, material again and it just uh, just found as the time's gone by that it's just truly truly a waste of time and energy where uh, time can be spent much more uh, better by learning about the gospel and uh, Jesus' message and getting that out to other folks like you guys. And uh, that's uh, one of my uh, uh, supernatural uh, Holy Ghost Great Comforter experiences. Uh, this was probably back in the summer of 2009 or fall of 2009. Well, anyways, uh, some friends of mine were going to go out of town, and uh, they asked me to uh, go over to their place and uh, check on their dog when, I, when I'd get off of work and let the dog out so she could uh, piddle and whatever. But anyways, as I was uh, getting ready to uh, go into the house and... Uh, uh, let let their dog out and stuff. I felt this uh, that uh, wave of uh, peace and comfort just move through my body, and it just uh, you know, like I said, uh, just another unbelievable, uh, peaceful, <laughs> uh, relaxing, uh, just a, a feeling of of joy that kind of hit my body at that time, and. Uh, so I'm I'm thinking that maybe this was for the benefit of the dog, so the dog, you know, wouldn't be uh wouldn't be afraid and stuff. So uh, yeah, that was uh, quite a quite a cool experience there. I remember back in the f fall, I believe it was, of uh, 2009. I was uh involved in a little uh, situation which ended up um, leading to a uh, a little meeting well um, I'm not sure what all was said or uh, lied about me or whatever which prompted this little little get-together but uh, anyways when I was approached 
about uh, this little get together. Um, I had this uh, this this wave of peace and comfort, uh, like I you know mentioned before. I'll just kind of move through my body, and I just uh, considering the uh, threatening uh, situation and uh, the intents of the of the ones involved with this here little meeting. Um, I was uh, well, like I said, uh, totally calm and peaceful about the whole thing, as if you know, uh, <laughs> like what I said about uh, the things priorly where a gun could be put to my head and I wouldn't even blink and uh, and that's it yeah that the great comforter the Holy Ghost and that that's just uh, it's powerful and it's and it's there for all all of you saints that are out there and all of you ones that are just beginning to wake up um, you know it, it's it's real it's true and I think as time goes by here just like what Zeph Daniel had talked about you're going to start to witness and experience this here for yourselves. This was in the late fall of uh, 2010. Well, I was in at that time. Uh, my dog was uh, poisoned, and. Uh, I didn't know the extent of the poison at that time or whatever, but it eventually uh, led to her uh, her death. And uh, it wasn't until later on, back you know, a couple months later, that I started doing some research on uh, rat poison, and uh, I looked up all the signs and symptoms of it, and uh, she fit everything to the cue. So yes, you know, the... Uh, Local area gang stalkers uh, poisoned and killed my dog, and uh, it's amazing. She hung on for about a month, almost a month after that uh, uh, initial incident where she got real sick. And uh, yeah, it was really tough taking care of her for a month. Uh, she got weaker and weaker, and um, as the days gone by. And all she would do was just drink water towards the end, and uh, she was getting thinner. She wasn't eating, and uh, she was getting to the point where she couldn't even stand. And uh, I would, uh, she'd be, I had her feed her down in the basement, and I'd have to carry her up and down the stairs to get to her feeder for her to drink water. And eventually, she wouldn't even uh, drink water, and I. I knew that uh, the time was going to be kind of uh, short. And uh, anyways, the next day I was listening to uh, uh, one of Zeph Daniel's uh, MP3s, and I can't remember who he was uh, was discussing. I don't know. Had on a show if it was. Uh, Barbara McCarty or uh, somebody else, but hmm, yeah, this is really tough. But I remember uh, uh, feeling that wave come through through me and hit me with this peace and calmness, and I kind of knew at that point that uh, Marin was about to leave. And I looked over and uh, watched her uh, take her last breath. Yeah, yeah, that's what the gang stalkers did to me and did to my poor Marin. Fucking evil people. Terrible, terrible. During the late evening of... Uh, June 18th, I was sitting around uh, reading uh, a book or something or some passages or at my uh, dinner table or kitchen table, and uh, all of a sudden I felt that uh, wave of uh, peace and comfort uh, move through my body, and I felt so calm and relaxed I almost uh, fell asleep at the table. 
And then, you know, I started thinking, yeah, you know, this has always been kind of a, an harbinger or something. Or, uh, But, you know, I, I wasn't sure what to think of it at that time because, you know, I wasn't going out or doing anything. And I thought, well, maybe there was uh, some kind of uh, supernatural or poltergeist uh, event that's uh, uh, being organized in the ether or the de or the demonic realms but uh, anyways uh, nothing happened throughout the night and I woke up the next day and uh, everything was cool and fine uh, no events happened and I thought well okay but it wasn't until uh, later in the day when I was uh, hit by a uh, a street theater event and uh, anyways I won't go into uh, any details about it is just because I want to protect the identities of or the identity of the the innocent ones so but anyways I just wanted to make that reference that uh yeah I thought it was unusual that um that that uh peaceful uh experience would uh happen at uh you know 12 15 hours uh prior to uh something but Anyways, uh, I kept pretty cool during the whole situation, and uh, and I'm sure uh, the people that uh, organized that street theater were are, are uh, scratching their heads and uh, wondering what the f, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's uh, that's the way it goes. Okay, and. Uh, I just want to thank you all for taking the time to uh, sit through all of this and listen to this. And may the Lord's peace and comfort be with you always. Have a very nice day in the Lord today. And a nice evening in the Lord or whenever you hear this. Many blessings and peace to you all.